Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited about today's video. We're going to make some cherry press on nails and they're the cutest little square nails ever. They're just the cutest. I'm just obsessed. I love the way they look and they almost have just the right amount of everything. I felt like I was trying to go low key with a set so I didn't want to go too wild and I feel like just everything that I've done is just like the perfect amount. So, as you saw at the start of the video, I showed you quickly what the kind of gel polishes I'm using today. Of course, all are from Madame Glam. And um, we've got a white, we have some red, and we also have some nude. The nude is food coma. You will know it's a truly massive love of mine. And um, we have this beautiful red. I believe it's a new red, along with the white too as well. They're all new colours from Madame Glam. You all know they're constantly launching new colours. Every month they have new colours. And sometimes in between the months they launch different collections and stuff. And um, those are one of the newer ones that they have in the channel. Not channel, sorry. Uh, website. And that red is unreal. Like, just look at that red. It's beautiful. Um, so we've got the thumb and the middle finger with the red. Everything else got the nude applied off camera real quick. I'll do a second layer and then we can crack on with the art. When it comes to the art today, nothing too crazy. We do have some stamping. So if you're crazy good at nail arts, you know, like hand done, you probably won't need a stamping plate. But I'm not that great. So stamping plate is a must for me. And um, the stamping plate I have is like a fruity one-ish. You'll see in a moment. And um, it just has like two cherry designs on there so I just tried to make it work with what I had I do wish I had more fruity plates like more different cherry designs to pick from and mix and match together but I only had two so I'll show you in a moment what that looks like but this stage I am working on a French tip so we're going to have the index finger and also the ring finger with a French tip look at this white it's so creamy and so opaque it's literally unreal it's the bold white color from Madame Glam amazing and it's just a regular gel polish it's not a nail art gel or anything like that so if you're in the hunt for some whites definitely pick this one up now on to the next French tip as you can see my French tips I kind of just wing them I kind of pick a pick a center and I just drag out my curved line to create the small line and I just go from there um it's just because I've been doing French tips for so long that I just kind of mastered it in a way now but there are different techniques you can do if you're a beginner um, and not too comfortable with French tips just yet. But it just proves that with practice, you will get it down. Um, when I first started, French tips were quite difficult too. So practice makes perfect, especially with nails. I feel like the more you can do them, the better. It just always gets better <laughs> the more you try. I'm just finishing up that French tip. It'll go into the lamp. Although the um, gel polish is very opaque, I still just roll a thumb, went in with another coat cured that and at that stage we should be ready to do some stamping so I sped up this footage a little bit quicker um just to kind of keep everything in that I've done but just sped it up because stamping is quite a slow process I find especially if you're doing what I'm doing today which is reverse stamping and um, that means I'm coloring in the outline of the image that I've picked up cherries for us in this case so when you colour it in, you have to leave, leave it for a little bit to dry because otherwise if you stamp it down when it's all like still wet, it kind of smudges everywhere. So I like to leave it to dry. So here are my two cherries and now I'm going to colour them in. So I've got this nice light green shade. All gel, not gel polishes, all stamping polishes are from Braun Pretty today. Um, the plate itself is from Moe London if you're interested. It's their Tutti Fruity plate if you wanted to check it out. So I'm using the light green to do the little two leaves that the image has and then some red to colour in the cherries. So here it is and I like to use a nullet brush to colour in but I know some people like to use dotting tools. It's all completely up to you what you're comfortable with. When you're colouring it in make sure you're not dragging your brush over like what you've just stamped. So as you can see I like to dip my brush and pick up as much polish as I can and kind of start floating it all around the um, outline of the image that I'm trying to colour in. So this stage I like to leave it to dry and then we're going to stamp the two cherries on the French tip nails. Just a second, being um, clean here, just wiping up my plate. Okie dokie, now we're ready to stamp. So I think, yeah, this nail gets it on the left hand side, the other nail gets on the right hand side-ish, kind of up in the middle. I wanted it a bit more to the right. 
and now we have two extra things to stamp right at the top of the plate we've got the word tasty and kind of wanted to include it wasn't too sure where I was going to place it yet but I picked it up anyways at this stage and then it has this full covered full cover image and it's just a bunch of cherries as you can see on this plate there's like a bit of everything so you've got like an orange there um what else do you have you might have a cherry i think there's like watermelon no pineapple on there it's kind of it's got a bit of everything yet almost still not enough things if that makes sense i'd kind of prefer if the plate was fully cherry and there's just a bunch of cherry options and then maybe like a bunch of strawberry options that one just has like one of everything and just if you want to make a strictly cherry or strictly strawberry whatever it is thing that you're going for you kind of can't so here I'm trying something new. I'm trying to outline the tasty wording with like a white border and I'm purposely going over the words like to like kind of make it thicker and you see in a moment what it will look like and it's kind of cool. I'm actually quite happy with the way you end up looking. So here it is. I'm going to let that dry and I think in the meantime I'm going to start colouring in my full cover image here. The full cover image is going to go over the pinky nail. So it's going to fully cover, which is nice, because if you're a regular on this channel, you know I'm constantly doing long stiletto nails. And it's the biggest nightmare trying to stamp on those kind of nails, because they're way too long, way too thick and everything. And I'm always having to, like, double stamp and try and connect the images together, and it's just so long. So it's nice to actually be able to stamp down on an image, and it covers the full nail. It's just, it's just nice for once. So we've got quite a lot of colouring in going on here, so... The green on all over the leaf same green that we used beforehand and we're also going to use the exact same red as we used in uh, well a moment ago as well and the red luckily matches quite nicely with the actual gel polish that we used to which is quite nice there's the red we're going to color it in um if you're looking for like a wider variety of shades for stamping polishes then clear jelly stamper you might want to give them a look they've got like loads of colors to pick from if you're into like if you really really like to color in stuff and um get more into that and be a bit more creative because born pretty they kind of have the staple colors and they don't really go further than that they don't have like 20 different shades of pinks it's mainly like two or three in a set of each shade so if you wanted to like really um expand your collection if you're really into stamping and stuff then clear jelly will be the one for you to check out here it is all colored in it's not a big problem if you ever go over the line as well guys don't stress too much so i've uh, decided to stamp tasty down on the center of the thumb i think i took that fingernail because it kind of had like some fluff on there or something so i think i was wiping it down whilst i was waiting for my cherries to dry up and be ready to stamp so that's why I'm kind of waiting around. So I sped up the footage a lot, lot here. Then we're going to stamp. I'm going to have as many discount codes and links down in the description for you guys. If you want to check it out and buy anything that I'm using today, such as the tips. If you're into press-ons or want to get into press-ons, these square tips are so nice. At the end of the video, you're going to see them on my hand. I feel like they're so flattering, such a nice shape. And they're on Amazon. So they're literally like next day delivery. The price itself, I think, is pretty good. And they're just so sturdy. I'm just over the moon happy with those. They're, this company does have like different... Uh, like shapes and stuff that I'm wanting to try out but I haven't yet ordered any but I definitely will and I'll make some videos on it and, and just you know continue doing my designs just on different shapes and sizes and then I'll let you guys know what I think I'm so sorry I'm out of focus in a moment that will be corrected but this um, middle nail just got some crystals going on we've got a white bow um, a couple of AB shaped crystals and off camera I just end up finishing off that crystal placement with a tiny circular one at the bottom of that long crystal that will all go into the lamp and that's all that we're doing crystal wise here it is with that little crystal at the bottom now it's time to top coat so we're using a matte top coat today i'm trying to be as careful as i can here and um, not to touch any of the crystals or the little charmy bow going on um, as much as i can i don't want to dim down the crystals or anything the rest of the nails can just have a nice little easy matte top coat application without trying to be too careful um, once all that is done, it's going to go into the lamp, of course, it's going to come back and I do have some extra little touches to do bef before the final results. So I've got some Madame Glam Nail Art Gel. Um, some of you might have seen it before. I do use it quite often, to be honest. Um, it's one of those gels that cure tack-free on top of 
well, anything, I guess. <laughs> um, so I like to um, quite often use it when I'm working on matte nails because I like that it's got a matte background, yet when I do some little special special touches with the nail art gel, it cures tech-free glossy on top. So I like the little dimension and the look it gives to the nails. So it almost gives a little sparkle without there actually being any crystals. So if you are into sparkly nails or something like that, but you don't quite like the crystal look where it's a bit too, you don't like the bulk of it or it catches on stuff, then doing um, a matte nail with some shiny, you know, drawings on top could actually add a nice little touch. So here it is, I've got some red, so I'm going to do a couple of dots here and there, and because it cures glossy on top of this um, nail and I don't need to top coat it, it just looks so cute when the light hits the nail, it just sparkles and it's just such a nice little touch. I just kind of feel like they're a bit too boring without those dots. So just a couple of dots, nothing too crazy, not going overboard or anything like that. And of course it's going to happen on both cherry French tip nails. And then last but not least, we're going to finish off our design working on the thumb. Now with the thumb, I'm also going to pick up the Nail Art Gel, but in the shade white this time. And we're going to follow on something similar to what we just did there, but I'm going to actually do some stars instead as well, along with those dots too. So I'm probably just grabbing my white gel polish now, or Nail Art Gel. There we go, placing it down, and now we can get cracking. So I think I do two, one at the top, one at the bottom. I start off with a dot, and then I'm using the Nail Art Gel, sorry, not Nail Art Gel, Nail Art Brush. I'm going to drag out the lines from the dots to create a little star. So you want four lines coming out of each dot. And then once I'm happy with what that looks like, I then scatter around some dots too. I kind of focus it, like bottom left-hand side, going upwards, towards the right hand side you've seen just a moment so I wasn't scattering those dots all over the place it was kind of in a specific way which you've seen just a second and these nail art gels cure I believe 60 seconds in the lamp make sure you cure it properly um, because they're thicker more pigmented they need um, longer in the lamp to cure so here is the stage that I'm doing the dots just here, there and everywhere. Whatever floats your boat really, doesn't really matter. If you don't like the dots, you can replace them or just not do them at all if you think they're not quite nice there. Whatever you want, you can just switch it up and make it like your custom little design. Okay, can you see how it's kind of going from left to right and it's not really, you know, touching the other sides? Then pop those into the lamp. Any second now you're gonna see on my hand. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, if you like them or not. I think they're just the cutest little things. But here they are. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I would love to see you all in my next video. Bye guys.